Hello. So, who are you? My name is Chloe LaTanya Rodriguez. What do you identify as? Um, to the common person, I am a transgender woman. Do you remember the first time you felt you wanted to transition or that you were in the wrong body? Like, do you remember? Yeah, it happened probably about seven years ago. I had this little episode that happened. And then when I was in the hospital, I just I decided I wanted to live the rest of my life as the person that I really am. So who is it that you really are? I am the person you see before you. Chloe Latonya Rodriguez. I didn't start that way. At first, you know, like every other transgender person, every other tranny wants to like just wear women's clothes, do makeup, and I was wearing like normal clothes, normal tops, normal just pants, whatever, jeans and stuff like that. It took about four years to evolve into like who I wanted to be. And this is I want to be a I want to I I don't want to be I am. I'm a hoochie. That's who I am. I'm Chloe. I'm, I'm a hoochie. I want to show on the outside that I'm a hoochie. I want people to know how I feel on the inside. Because the way I look on the outside is the way I want to look. It came from, from inside of me. In the beginning stages, I was all just like trial and error kind of thing. Trying to figure out who I wanted to be. But this is who I want to be. This is it. This is Chloe Latanya. I want to be just like this. Just a hoochie. I want to... Dress like this. I want people to stare at me. I do my hair. I want. I usually have braids. Um, right now, obviously it's not braids, but this is like the hairstyle that I like. It's usually the hairstyle I, I wear, or I wear a ponytail that's nice and poofy. Um, I just like you know my titties hanging out. People staring at them. People want them to touch them. Went to the went to um, an appointment the other day, and the security guard kept talking to me, and all he kept doing was staring at my titties, and I don't mind that. If he wanted to touch them, I would have let him, because I don't really care. So you kept saying hoochie, hoochie mama, stuff like that. What is your take on a hoochie? What makes Chloe LaTanya a hoochie? What makes me a hoochie, I would say, is the way I dress, number one, which is, you know, tight clothes. Um, I'm obviously not skinny. Obviously, I don't have, like, this, you know goddess body but i think i do in my head i think i look great in my head i think i look beautiful i love my makeup i love my hair um to me being a hoochie is someone is a woman that likes to dress like this loves the long nails loves the jewelry loves the earrings um loves sex because i will have sex with anybody and i am not even kidding i will have sex with anybody especially if they if they pay me if i get something out of it for doing it that's the shit. That, I, that makes me excited. I'll do it when I'm horny just to do it because I have my boyfriend. So we'll do stuff. But if they want to bring somebody else to do it to me or have me suck them or do favors for them. So I don't want to get too vulgar. Do favors for them. I'll do it if they tell me to. Um, I just like the way I look. And I know they do because when I'm doing my job, they're not. They're showing it. Is there a certain lifestyle to a hoochie? Yeah, a uh, hoochie mama is a lifestyle. It's not a prostitute like people think. The women that you see like on TikTok and all that other crap where they're dancing around showing off their asses and stuff, they don't do anything. They just do it for the likes. They do it for the video. I do it because I want something out of it. I want to give up my ass. I want to give up my body. I want them to use my body for whatever they want. My mouth, my everything else. I don't, you know, that's the difference. I don't do it for the money. If I if I get money or if I get favors, I'm good with it. But I don't do it for that reason. I do it because I like the way I look. And I do it because of the uh, the attention that I attract and the kind of guys I get. So you have two sides of you. You have Chloe JL and then you have... I, there's no more JL. No? No, nope, okay. she's gone. Okay. So... Chloe have... JL is the person I was before. The person I thought I wanted to be. The person I thought just normal... Because a lot of trannies just want to be normal women, and that's to me that's boring. That is really boring to me. I don't want. I know what I am. I'm a tranny. I'm a transgender, whatever tranny. I say the word tranny. It doesn't offend me. You can say it to me. It doesn't offend me. People. It might offend other people. I don't care. But that's who I am, and I'm a hoochie mama tranny because I like the attention I get, and I like being promiscuous, and that's what hoochie mama means. Hoochie mama originally meant promiscuous, and I love being a hoochie. 
I love, I just love being a hoochie. That's, I don't know how more plain I can say that. Um, some bitches claim that they, they are and they pretend to be, but I am actually the real deal. How would you explain your hoochie style today? Um, my hoochie style is, is <clears throat> um, it's not normal. It's not of the norm of other people. P- women that dress like this, which isn't a lot, like I said, do they do it for the show, but I do it because this is who I am. I do my nails. I have my rings, I have my bracelets. I think that all attracts the hoochie chaser, the guy who wants to be with the hoochie mama, and that's the kind of guy I want. That's the kind of guy I like attracting. It's fun. It's I don't like boring women bullshit. I like being a fucking hot hoochie mama tranny. So would you consider yourself like a whore, prostitute? Like, what would you say you are? Like, are you a prostitute? I would classify, if I, I am a prostitute in, in the way that if I get stuff for doing favors, that's prostitute, that's what it is, I can't deny it, that's what it is, I don't care, the, pro, the word prostitute doesn't offend me, The poor, being called a, a prostitute doesn't offend me, I like being a hoe, I love being a hoe for pay, I love being a hoe straight up, I don't care, it doesn't matter to me how I get it, I just like getting it. So you're a whore? Mm-hmm. But it feels even more better when you're offered stuff. Oh, yeah. It feels way better because you're getting something out of it. You're, of course, you're getting satisfaction of satisfying a guy because I like doing that. Um, I'll take care of myself later, but while I'm doing it, it's all about them. And I love I love the taste of their fucking cum in my mouth when they explode down my throat. It's the fucking best when they squirt. Oh, my God. Or in my ass, too. And you feel that your ass fill up. Oh my god, it's it's the best. But yeah, if I get paid for what I do, it it is better. But if I don't, you know, I don't expect it. Are you married, single? Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a pimp? What's your deal here? I have a wife who's also a tranny. I have a boyfriend, and um, they're my two top priority to satisfy. Um, but they can bring if they want to bring somebody in, they can. And, and if they bring someone in and they like to watch me doing stuff with the other person and they get off on it it's the best feeling i love making them happy how does your boyfriend feel that you're a hoochie my boyfriend loves it he loves the way i look he loves the wigs he loves when i have my braids or just regular hair he loves my tits he loves my ass he loves my hoo-hoo he'll play with that he loves everything he does he he's fucking he's like sex maniac you know fucking love it how is sex for you, Latanya, and you and your partners? It's great. I mean, they they use me the way they want, and if they want to enjoy somebody else using that using me, then they'll go out and get somebody and give me a you know a nice big black dick or a Mexican dick or whatever fucking whatever they want. Whatever they they feel that day, that night, whatever whatever they want to bring in, I just. Uh, I'm basically just here for them to tell me what to do. I belong to them. I'm their property. So when you find guys to give you favors and stuff, what is, what normally do you get? Like, what is what is something that these hoochie chasers give you? Is it money? Is it jewelry? Like, what is? Um, originally, when they started doing stuff, um, forty bucks. That's like the standard. Because I used to say fifty, but it's harder to get two twenties and ten. It's easier to get two twenties. So I do I do forty, but if then they don't only have thirty on, I really don't care as long as they got something. You know that's that's exciting. I love when they fucking pay me. Um, at first I would get the very first time it ever happened. Um, and this guy was like, oh, well, you know, do you want me to bring something? And I thought, you know, bring like what? And he's like, do you want me to bring roses? I don't know what the fuck roses meant, and that means money. And I was like, well. Oh, I'm kind of hungry. If you want to bring me some, um, I forget what the restaurant's called. Want to bring me some Mexican food? And he brought me two burritos, one for me, one for my wife. Two giant burritos. And I was like, "Fuck!" And then I, I sucked his dick, and I was like, "That felt good." Now you know I did something that I love doing, and he's gone. Now I can do something else that I love doing, which is eating, obviously. And I was like, "Oh shit, this is cool." And so I would get. I would go on Craigslist back when Craigslist was the thing, the personals, and I would get guys and they're like, well, what do you, you know, how much do you charge? And I was like, you can just bring me a couple of pizzas. And I'd get this one chubby guy from a construction site came over at his lunchtime and brought me uh, pizza and um, Little Caesars, but I don't fucking care. I'm a cheap bitch. Fucking Little Caesars is perfect. 
He brought that over for lunch. I did him. He took off. He calls about three hours later. Like, I'm about to get off of work. I can't stop thinking about you. I want to come back and do it again. Um, same same deal. I was like, sure. So I brought two more pizzas this time and another crazy bird. And then me and my wife fucked around with him. He was, he was he left my thing with with um guys that most people think are unattractive, like fat guys, you know, kind of uglyish guys, the guys that can't really get too much pussy. They come and I I make them feel like they're cock if it's that big. They, they, I make them feel like they're the fucking king. They're the best cock I've ever fucking had in my mouth. And I'll suck it and I'll, they love it and they'll come so hard. And I leave, they leave thinking they're the man. That's what I like. I like when guys come over and then they leave, not just satisfied because they just blew them, but satisfied like, fuck, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm pretty good. You know, I'm not the hottest tranny. I'm not fucking big tits, big dick, and big ass and all that shit. But I make the guys feel. And it's not even an act. I love making guys feel the way I do. And when guys leave me thinking that way, feeling that way, it's the fucking best. How does the hoochie get ready to whore the night? So I get up around noon, <laughs> usually. Um, shower, shave, shower. Uh, I hate shaving. Uh, body hair, everything. Um go rest, kick back for a little bit, listen to the music on my headphones, um, pick off the outfit for the day. And, and I used to, like I said, had boring outfits, just leggings, a t-shirt, a rock shirt or something like that, baggy, because I didn't want to, I didn't like showing off my gut and my, I just like downplaying my look. And I was so boring. And in the back of my head, I was like, I don't want that. I want to do more and more. But I was afraid to bring it up to my wife and she'd be like, no, you know, you're, you're too fat. You're not attractive enough to be pulling off that look but as soon as i brought it up like that bitch was like okay what do you need what do you want to get what outfit do you want what this and that so now i got all these fucking tight clothes this outfits these shirts these tops bottom whatever i i get all that i get dressed and then i do my makeup i do my um foundation i do my fucking my tranny eyebrows I love my tranny eyebrows i call them tranny eyebrows it's no regular fucking bitch wears these if they do they're I love them. Then um, I'll pick up my jewelry for the day. Uh, well, first, before that, um, she'll help me do my makeup, my eyeshadow, my blush, all that. Because I, I still can't do that. I suck at doing that. My, I just suck at doing that. My right side is weak for a reason. That's why I was sick. Anyway, she'll do all that. And then when she's done with that, I do my, uh, if I don't have lashes, I'll, or even if I do, I would do my, my mascara do my lipstick always black i just bought like four more <laughs> black lipsticks that's my that's my color um get my jewelry on my bracelets or you know other bracelets um do the nails usually have them done acrylic professional but when i don't I have to use press on still you know they're still cute i don't care um i'll do all that and then i'll rest again well maybe i'll eat something and then it's um you know time to hit the streets basically um i don't want to get too involved to where i go what i do but just let's say that you know I have a good nights what do cis women normally think about you and what you're doing and how you look and dress like do you get compliments from cis women do you get hated on i get both um verbally when they you know when they talk to me i'll get compliments and they might talk shit behind my back. I don't care, cis women, even tranny, other trans, because there are trannies that are were like or are like I thought I wanted to be. Downplay, a little bit of makeup, not a lot. You know, look like a woman. Pass. Passing is the biggest fucking thing. I don't pass. I have. I like the way I look. I know I don't pass. I don't care. I like. It's weird. I like them knowing I'm a tranny hoochie. I like them knowing that I'm a tranny. You know, that's why I don't, I don't change my voice, you know, sound like a fucking, you know, I hate trainees and change their voice trying to sound like a woman. I don't do that. I just sound my normal voice. I act the normal way. I walk the normal way. Um, You know, I get, like I said, I get compliments. I get stares. I I know people laughing in the corner of my eye. It doesn't bother me. Like, after this video, you leave the worst comments. I don't fucking care. The comments and people's negative shit doesn't bother me. But a lot of people say that that stuff doesn't bother them, but then they go home, they cry themselves and say, I really don't care.
care. I don't fucking care what you think, how I look, how I act, how I am, what I do. It doesn't matter to me.